this is JP. I'm looking at this video in Jacksonville, Florida, or whatever. What happened to the young man who got killed? Um, you know, this is the type of stuff that I used to talk about in my videos uh, a while back, like months months ago. I used to make videos addressing white people and this white supremacist sort of country that we live in. Um, those who took heed to it, um, you're the smart one. Those who didn't, you're naive, you're submissive. And it would be very easy to manipulate you later down the road. When we failed, we already failed as a people to unify. So that's on the back burner now. But when we allow ourselves to continue to be victimized, we, we're not setting an example to the younger, you know, kids and, and you know the youth under us we're, we're letting them know that we are we're allowing we we are willing to allow these motherfuckers to treat us this way the enemy is stronger than ever because they know that if we build this power and this this unification and if we infiltrate on everything that the system has tried to uh fuck us up on then they like damn these motherfuckers they you know then we got a so-called black president, which is a hoax. So if we learn how to fuck the system, then that's when they're going to try to call us domestic terrorists and uh, anti-American and anti-patriot and everything that we are not. Because we are, in, in, in retrospect, we are not American. If you are of African descent in America, yeah, you, you, you happen to be in America, but we're not, we're not American. We have learned the values, the culture the theology of America, but we are not an American. If we learn how to speak, it don't matter what part of, the, of Africa, it could be South Africa, West Africa, uh, North, whatever. If we learn those cultures, traditions, uh, philosophies, everything, we learned all that shit, we'll be considered foreign. Then we'll really be African American, because that's what it is. That's African American. But Unfortunately, it's not like that, but I'm basically, I'm getting off topic, but the moral of the story is this, is that black folks, we are too gullible, man, here in America. We do not represent black people how we used to be. It used to be a sense of strong culture, a sense of pride being black back then. We wouldn't, we wasn't going for this bullshit back then. When we was getting fucked up, we fought back. Now it's like... We just protesting and all that bullshit again, but we not really taking action. We not going in there and, and going to the government and letting these motherfuckers know that we not going to get treated like this. We want to just complain about racism and, and prejudice and discrimination, but we're not going, we not going in to try to, uh, uh, we not going in there trying to, uh, take over and shit. We, we just complaining and all the shit, man, but the situation is sad with this young dude, man. I keep getting off topic, man. The situation is, is very sad with this young dude, and this white supremacist of the country is allowing white people to feel comfortable. The comfort level is very, very comfortable at this point. They're very comfortable. You know what I mean? And we're allowing them to be comfortable. You know what I mean? We are allowing them to be comfortable. So, if we try to stand up for ourselves, it's not going to do no good because they already see that we lack understanding within each other. You know what I mean? And it's like, you feel me? I've been trying to, oh, excuse me, I've been trying to, uh, I've been trying to do what I've, I've been trying to make these videos to get into our people's heads, you feel me? And let them know, because I'm out here in California. And all this shit, man, you, these motherfuckers want to talk about all that liberal shit, all these white motherfuckers and shit. Man, I'm not with none of that shit, man. This is one of the most segregated, fucking isolated, you know, divided uh, state. I don't want, you know, motherfuckers think about coming to California, I'm going to let you know right now. It's not, it's not like that, bro. I'm letting y'all know right now. It's not even, I mean, all my black folks from down south, is, it's not what it is. So I have a lot of family members down, so they think California is not. It's very so much like down south, too. They all, I mean, and I'm in northern California, but it's not like that, though. I'm going to let y'all know that, but, you know, the situation is sad, man. Uh, I hope that 
we can get a better understanding within ourselves so we can unify. But until then, just know, man, this, we are under attack. And if we allow ourselves to uh, keep going through this shit, it's not going to ever change, man. We got to stop playing victim. We got to stand up and say, you know what, we're going we gonna to make a change. We're going to make a difference. You know what I mean, we're going to build some shit and try to, you know, glue some shit together so we don't got to be in, in this fucked up situation no more, man. But this is your boy, man. I'm going off. You know what I mean? I, sometimes I just ran about shit and, you know, it's, <laughs> it is what it is, y'all. But y'all stay up, man. Take care.